Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about how shorts are in a bad situation, the latest synthetics created, how shorts are liquidating, and many more in this video. We're starting off with shorts make the situations worse by naked shorting GME and AMC. If they let the price have its natural growth, people would have sold at profitable prices and never put the stock market at risk. Instead, they feed the rage and anger of the apes. Now, this is something you've always talked about. It's obviously understanding how we've never seen the real price discovery of AMC. Therefore, we don't actually understand or know how people will actually trade for AMC at different price points. Instead, what we see is, of course, the constant suppression of AMC. Anytime where we get a breakout like we've seen in the past, it Immediately, we are met with halts and suppressions and millions and billions of synthetics created and FTDs to obviously push the price down. And so, you know, something that we need to understand is that the shorts have put themselves in a very bad position because they are not letting natural price action happen in the market. And if you see this in terms of how they're trying to prevent the situation from getting worse, or at least they're trying to kind of keep this situation at a hold, you can see here are the latest tokenized shares for AMC same day as the run Lola run playing at AMC. It's like they consolidated all derivatives getting ready for something the great unwinding. We'll take a look at this screenshot and what you can see is some crazy numbers that are being dished out. And you can see here for the token value, these are what you're witnessing right now, millions. You can see here for the tokens, 210 million, 100 million, 168 million. We have something, and this is crazy to say, but in terms of the lower value, we're looking at 420,000. Normally this will obviously be extremely high, but when you're comparing to 210 million, 100 million, 168, another one here, 42 million, another one here, 178 million, you can see these are what's being created right now and these are what we see with the late, latest tokenized shares remember the latest tokenized shares are used and in just tokenized shares in general are used for locating shares to be able to use to borrow to short against amc for them to use to obviously settle and delay the whole process and of course other factors as well but generally when they do want and are creating more tokenized shares it means that they are lacking real shares and they're in a situation right now where they are desperately in need of shares whether it's to cover some of their positions whether it's to reset the fdd these, wherever it's to create more synthetics to short AMC. These are all indications in, in terms of you know, what, how to look out for, um, for when shorts are in need of shares and when we will be witnessing kind of the suppression and manipulation happening for AMC. But on top of that, and is another reason for why we can see with the lack of real shares. When I call your attention to AMC daily volume, I'm helping show that there is no trading in AMC. We are hodling. The algos are dead and waiting for life. Shorts are hosed because any covering will explode volumes and price. Almost all volume is just rehypothecated mess. Example, today versus the three month average. Today was about 18% of the three month daily average. Just wild. So if you take a look and it's just the comparison, this is what we're talking about in terms of real shares are being dried up and it's why they're falling back to tokenized shares. Shares. So take a look at the volume here. So for AMC, what we've seen is 5.32 million in terms of volume. Now, if you take a look at here, the average volume for the past three months for AMC is 28.95 million. So we're in a time where there's extremely low volume. Now, this is obviously um, understandable when we understand that shorts, like we talked about here, are of course holding onto their shares. They are not selling. Everyone is only buying into AMC. Now, this is why we are also explaining with by not selling AMC, you know, obviously we're not releasing AMC shares in the market, therefore we aren't seeing volume, but also by buying more AMC, like we talked about, the float has already been bought up. That every time we are buying shares, it's very likely that we are buying synthetic shares. And for wherever it's the market makers, wherever it's the brokers, wherever it's the short sellers, to make sure that we can still even buy shares, obviously they need a way for there to be shares, hence why it tokenized shares. So you can see there is many reasons reasons for why we are seeing these pop up of tokenized shares and every time we do see these pop up and kind of in a state where we're seeing a massive volume increase in these tokenized shares it means that shorts are in a position where they obviously need to try and find more ways of locating shares and that's what we are seeing here now again we talked about short are hosts because any covering will explode volumes and price and this is something we've seen in the past you know every time that where they're in a situation where they're struggling and when we do see amc you know tend to have even bits of 
volume and breaks out like you guys can see here we obviously met with this price action and amc went up over 300 percent quick shortly before it was obviously halted and suppressed but that's why shorts are scared because in the times where they tested to see what the market is like every time they need to do something whether it's unloading amc you know whether it's to do train cover etc etc they're met with massive forces and that's why they are scared and you can see here if i had a penny for every time amc was declared dead from the financial media i would own the company outright so we're seeing another article and you can see this article we're looking at where it's amc entertainment weakening consumer demand maybe final nail in coffin now this is obviously not something that you know is um true because what we've seen recently is how amc is obviously um improving again they're going back towards in terms of the recent earnings and they're how they're using that as a way of of course arguing why amc is a bad company but for those of you who obviously done your in-depth analysis who those of you who actually took your time and looked at the earnings and compared it with other competitions in this industry you will understand that amc is in fact doing well and whilst we didn't meet the consensus it's not something that is um showing how amc is a bad company it's not showing how amc is a company that should be bankrupt and that's the thing that's the very thing that they're trying to obviously pin it on because the fact that we are seeing this, we are also seeing institutions buying into AMC. So, you know, the argument to be made here is understanding if news articles and people's outlook on AMC is that it should be bankrupt, is that people should stay away from it. Why exactly is institutions buying into AMC, but not only that, are increasing their accumulation. So they're buying to AMC monthly, and not only that, the monthly increasing in terms of the monthly buys are also increasing. So all of this is just showcasing why they believe AMC is, of course, course a good company you can also see why these articles are obviously just something that you need to definitely take it with a pinch of salt you definitely need to do your own due diligence because you can see here why is b riley financial stock rocketing today so this is from benzinga another news article who also make news articles about amc but you can see they're obviously talking about b riley and you can see people who chase this up today got 23 percent haircut today now for those of you who don't know b riley recently went through some massive volatility so they're talking about in terms of the um, rocketing is that b riley went up 45.67 now that is of course a very very good return but when you look at it you see this massive gap down where b riley recently as we've covered on this channel has dropped over 70 percent in terms of price and you can see whilst they went up 45.67 percent yesterday they also went down 23.9 percent today and what's even funny about this is when you take a look at amc and you'd compare it with b riley and you compare it with the news articles if AMC went through the same thing B Riley has done recently, where it's dropped over 70%, you will see news articles all about it. You will constantly see news articles from the day it happened to the day where we are right now and possibly weeks after. And when you do see the fact that B. Riley, um, in this case, goes up 45% and you can see how they covered a news article about him, even if AMC were to go on the through, you know, kind of the same thing, they will talk about, yes, AMC went up 45%, but they also dropped 70%. But you can see that that is not something that is covered by um, these articles. And again, the 23% drop, something that's also not covered. So you can clearly see the difference in treatment between AMC and other stocks. And the very fact that we are seeing these difference in treatment should showcase us why they are panicking and why they're scared about AMC. Furthermore, you can see delaying in uh, media settlement by using tokenized stock futures allow them to kick the can down the road until that can completely disintegrate it. And this is what we are seeing here. Now, this is something that we've already, um, you know, have been talking about on this channel. We've talked about the tokenized stocks. We've talked about the futures. We've talked about how when FTX crash, you know, obviously things happen. We also covered this in our yesterday's video. So feel feel free to go check it out. But like we said. This is something and it, kind of the focus here is kicking the can down the road. This means that they obviously haven't settled the situation. And this is why we talked about how shorts are in a bad position because of the fact that 
This is something that they use to prolong the whole process. This is something they elongate the process and this isn't solving it. And so this problem still remains. And remember, this is acting as a snowball. If you were to roll a snowball down the hill full of snow, it will continue rolling. And not only will it continue to roll, but it will also increase in size and get bigger. And this is exactly what they are doing and it's what's happening right now. And it's why they're scared to cover. And it's why you can see in the past before for AMC, even the slightest increase in volume, in the slightest um, change in AMC positions will cause the price to skyrocket. And you can also see Andrew Left Citron seems to be liquidating assets, perhaps a plea deal with huge fines and limited jail time while providing information on the bigger fish. So we've obviously recently talked about um, Andrew Left from Citron Research and talked about the whole situation. And just like we said, shorts are not in a good position. And you can see that from both outside and inside the industry. And I think that's something that is definitely forecasting for what we should be looking out for in the future. And you guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you guys next time.